100 people spent Martin Luther King Jr. Day honoring generations of African Americans without civil rights. Some 200 slaves and their descendants are buried at the historic Shelton's Bear Creek Cemetery in Irving. That's where we find our J.D. Miles tonight with the story. J.D. Gilma, this small cemetery was on private property for decades and became overgrown and unattended because of it. Now it's getting overdue attention and offering a history lesson to those who came out here today to clean it up. The rakes, leaf blowers, and trimmers may have disturbed the tranquility of this small cemetery, but they were a welcome sight to Jamie Simon. That's a blessing from God, especially on Martin Luther King birthday. Very important. The 73 year old was overwhelmed by the sight of volunteers like John Turek <laughs> cleaning the Shelton Bear Creek Cemetery where Simon's great grandparents are buried. God talked to me, <clears throat> excuse me, and said, You need to go help. Turek brought more than two dozen of his students from St. Mark's School in Dallas to turn Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday into a learning experience. I learned a lot about the history of this place and how. Uh, it, people weren't allowed to honor the people buried here. Only a handful of the 200 buried here have marked graves, but many in this black cemetery were slaves or the children of them. Just cleaning it so that maybe the weeds won't grow back. Volunteer Michelle Watkins hopes to restore value to lives that were denied any civil rights. It just touches my heart. They're a person and they deserve this respect. The cemetery was inaccessible for decades because it was on private property up until about 20 years ago. Today it's a scene that volunteer Winnie Miller says her ancestors would be proud to see. This is what Martin Luther King was all about. He was all about unity. He did not see black and white. He saw people. And that's what I see today. I don't see black and white. I see people. Civil rights groups succeeded in getting this cemetery designated as a state historical site. The volunteers repaired fencing, removed tree limbs and leaves, and also placed flags and flowers at every gravesite. Live in Irving, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.